century. Our eyes on the universe have been opened anew. We are witness to the very brink of time and space. Hi! For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Mike, and I'm a space enthusiast who has a YouTube channel talking about space news and what's going on in space today. And I wanted to take this opportunity to celebrate and commemorate April 12th, which is the 50th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's first manned space flight into space. Now, in my opinion, this is a very important day, not only for space enthusiasts, but for the entire world. The reason being that that was the day man was able to escape Earth's gravity and elevate our species to a new level, a new frontier. And that event, that moment, culminated in the first moon landing. Man was able to set foot on another world, another planet. So let's find out a little bit more about this Yuri Gagarin and what happened on that day, April 12th, 1961. The flight of Yuri Gagarin is uh, one of the most exciting activities and events of the 20th century. And uh, it changed people's emotional outlook about life on this planet. And uh, I tell people that those who think that the sky is the limit never heard of Yuri Gagarin. Well, Yuri's night is definitely a night for celebration. It's a celebration of uh, us as a spacefaring race. I think, and it's a, an opportunity to reflect and look back on all the great things that uh, spaceflight has given us, uh, both from a personal perspective, but also from a technological perspective, and an opportunity to uh, jump off into the future. It's uh, very important for all of the all, all of Russians uh, people, because uh, uh, most of them they remember 1961, 12 of April. That was a really huge celebration because uh, that was really the first step into space. Ну, конечно, полёт Гагарина это просто был переворот в сознании всех людей, учитывая то, что после войны прошло всего ничего там 16 лет, учитывая то, что страна была в полной разрухе, и вот так вот как бы из ничего и сделать такой шаг в космос, это, конечно, был очень грандиозный прорыв нашей промышленности. This was just not an achievement from a Russian cosmonaut, someone who went to space, but it was the first time humanity actually was able to go beyond Earth's at atmosphere and then be able to reach space. He's just the first humankind who will be in space, so we don't think about his citizenship, we don't think about some other border, and he's the, one, he's the person. Yuri Gagarin had no idea what he was going to encounter once he reached space and knew full well the risks of rocketry and that his life could end at any given moment. However, he was willing to accept these risks and face the challenge and was successful in becoming the first man in space. He was able to fulfill the Russian dream of Konstantin Solkovsky and float above the earth in his tiny Vostok capsule and peer through his small window to see the view of Earth from space. And when he returned home to Earth, he was celebrated as a hero. Russia was alive with celebration. Gagarin went from being a well-liked test pilot to a national hero, beloved throughout the entire country. And it was him who received all the praise for his flight, as he should. He was the man who took all the risks. But let us not forget this man, who was the one responsible for the entire project. This man was the engineer and lead designer of the R-7 rocket, which we know today as the Soyuz rocket. This man was responsible for the first satellite of Earth, Sputnik, as well as Gagarin's first flight, and many other of the Russian first accomplishments in space. And it was this man who was inspired, or maybe intimidated by Korolyov's accomplishments, that led to this moment. I'm gonna step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As amazing as Yuri Gagarin's first flight was, as well as Alan Shepard's and John Glenn's and Alexei Leninov's first spacewalk, 
all leading up to the first landing on the moon by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. As amazing as all that was, this isn't the only anniversary that we celebrate on April 12th. On April 12th, 1981, was the very first time that the space shuttle launched. Minus three, two, one. We have ignition. We have ignition of the solid rocket boosters and liftoff. Liftoff of America's space shuttle, and the space shuttle has cleared the tower. The space shuttle allowed Americans to develop their knowledge of flying in space as well as living in space and helped us to strengthen our relationship with the Russians that was first began with the Apollo Soyuz test project in 1975. And that relationship has culminated in us being able to build the International Space Station together, not only with the Russians but also with the Japanese and the Europeans. The International Space Station a symbol of peace and unity and a new dawn for humans. This is the stepping stone for us as, as humans to be able to learn how to live longer in space and withstand longer duration missions. The whole point being to return us to the moon, to go on to asteroids, and then eventually Mars and beyond. And the spin-offs from the whole International Space Station program have had many great effects in our daily lives back here on Earth. And a lot of this is due to the Space Shuttle program. But now it's not even just the governments who are involved. Now the commercial companies, specifically in the United States, are getting involved in this as well. And we're seeing lots of success from companies such as Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, Orbital Sciences, Boeing, and many others. And all of their success is leading to new proposals such as this one by NASA titled the Nautilus X, which could be built by the commercial sector to make the next generation of spacecraft to send us to those destinations, to asteroids and to Mars and beyond, and could become the new icon and symbol of spaceflight, inspiring the next generation to push even further and expand our presence out into space and into our solar system, just as Solkovsky, Gagarin, Korolov, and others dreamed of. Before I go, let me leave you with one last thought. We are all connected to each other biologically, to the Earth chemically, and to the rest of the universe atomically. The cosmos are also within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way that the universe can know itself. Just think about what that means as you celebrate the anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's flight. Hopefully you've registered to start a party or are going to one. I know I am. The important thing is to have fun to celebrate human spaceflight, not only in our past, but also for our future. And have an awesome Yuri's night. With every century, our eyes on the universe have been opened anew. We are witness to the very brink of time and space.